Hello, we hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSK News. And again, thank you all for leaving comments on today's episodes and this week's episodes as well. You guys have been amazingly interactive and it's just really fun to see these funny comments. And especially this guy or girl out there who did comment that, I appreciate you very much because as you guys know here on the CSK News channel, I do have a long neck and it's hard to find someone who actually enjoys it as, as much as I do. But anyway, hopping to our first story, all about the newest stream team out there. Now, last week it was Cloud9's uh, former members, Shroud and Nothing and Sean Gares alongside Fatharn and Lurpus making their own ESC. CA Open team, and we now have a new stream team apparently in the making, uh, of course comparable to teams like Mythic out there. It will involve though MoTV and Days, which is very exciting news. They will compete in next season of Mountain Dew League alongside two other players for now, which will be No One and Ocean, and they'll play in the team name known as Subtle. If you do remember, it was actually Subtle, I believe, a former Canadian roster before they did disband. I think one of their former players was also VAC banned as well. Nonetheless, it's still going to be an amazing stream team to watch and still very fun to watch, although a lot of you guys probably have different feelings about many of these players on the team right now. Uh, currently going into it, they have four players. According to MoTV, their fit player will maybe be A2Z to finish off that roster. And to be honest, in Mountain Dew League, these guys can definitely compete and also be very fun to watch. I just hope, I know there's a stigma out there, I really hope that none of them give up and they keep on going and actually make it through the entire season. And of course, we also had others, I guess you could call them stream teams, or just really well-known North, Amer North American personalities in the Mountain Dew League in the past. One of them being with Torqued, of course, Steel and Swag and, and AZK on that team. They made it a dominant run until they choked in the finals. I say choke, but still they had an amazing run. They could have made EPL, which everyone was hoping for. So it's going to be great to see those teams. We now have Days with the team. Uh, apparently they stick it out as well as uh, Steel with the team, both in Mountain Dew League, and they will be playing each other next season. So I cannot wait. Mountain Dew League has made an amazing come up these past couple years, and they now have some amazing teams, both on the North American side and the European side. So watch out, guys. Stream teams are now apparently a big North American thing. And also been very big news for all you gamblers out there and anyone who uses OP skins. Apparently OP skins is partner with a company known as VGO. Now VGO is actually a blockchain company and apparently what they're doing, I'll link the article down below for all of you guys who want to read that, and they're now going to allow the virtual trading, buying and selling, uh, buying and selling and trading of apparently a virtual item that allows people out there to trade them instantly without trade bans or any restrictions. So of course this is in response to Valve's 7 day trade ban which apparently will not be reverted. OP Skins uh, also was one of the companies out there to tweet about the effects of that 7 day trade ban, pointing out that it not only affected OP Skins and of course their business, but also Valve and their business. We saw a huge drop off in Steam market trades. Apparently, the daily trades on the Steam market went from three to four million down to 1.5 million. And this is a this is going to be OP skins apparently trying to fight back and launching VGO skins. And we'll see just exactly what they mean by this because some people are confused. Now they won't be actual skins, although they will be represented by actual pictures on the OP skins website. So you will have an, an item, uh, not really an actual item, but you you think you'll have an item. It's confusing, but nonetheless, apparently it cannot be shut down. So starting next. Next Monday, the 21st, it will be launched in OP Skins. Keep an eye out for this um, because, of course, uh, OP Skins has many, many cryptocurrency uh, things going on right now, including their WAX token and other, other things they have offered on their website, which could be taking off if this does work out for them because that does mean all the gamblers in the scene will be using this if it does work out. If it actually cannot be restricted, if it actually has some fictitious value that does work out and people trust it, it could be the next big thing, but I'm very worried about it for the time being. But luckily enough for all of us, we don't have to wait very long. It should be launching in three days time and apparently according to OP skins it cannot be shut down by anybody and then some quick roster change news for all of you apparently Renegades coach Casada is stepping down it was his own decision after EPL finals and Renegades left that tournament you know not doing too terribly but also of course uh, the fact they made it there was just an accomplishment in itself Casada apparently his own choice to leave the team and he will be updating on his life choices sometime soon when he does get back home uh, where he'll be going if he'll be coaching if he'll be playing again no one knows exactly what his future lies in also on top of that of course we have sprout changes sprouts been struggling ever since their last major appearance and apparently Crystal has now left that roster. I've been told from an inside source expect a young gun known as Synchrone to retake that place of uh, Crystal on that lineup. So expect that Synchrone to be joining Sprout and unfortunately enough guys, Cassad is no longer coaching for Renegades. And also a very fun game. I'll link down below for all of you. I say it's a game but it's actually brought to us by Flickshot. As many of you know, the French Shuffle is pretty much imminent now. We've had many leads up to that. LDLC finalizing their roster and of course MVS and G2 should shuffle somewhat. We're not really sure exactly what's going to happen. No one really knows, and at the end of the day, it's going to be a guessing game. But Flickshot actually let us choose our three teams, so I might as well show you guys what I think is going to happen. I actually based mine off of pretty much uh, G2 wanting to have at least two of the players they've already have contracted, and then of course that trio of Shock, Smiths, and Existence. So that was my first roster, then Envious and LDLC. The only things we do know confidently right now is uh, is that being Shocks, Existence, and Smiths, that trio. We do know MBK and Shocks will likely not play together, and on top of that, we do know Amanek and Devo Duvek are set in stone on that LDLC. 
LDLC roster, and we probably know that Scream's going to be left out of the better of the two teams. So that's really all we know going forward. You guys can make your guesses down below and feel free to tweet them at me. And I do realize as well, I didn't really look into, of course, those player conflicts, and those are maybe going to put huge holes in my predictions and anyone's predictions out there. But at the end of the day, right now, currently, everyone's, it's a guessing game. So I'm excited to see what French, rost what French rosters do come out of this, but uh, as of right now, no one really knows, and that's probably the fun part. And very last in today's episode, apparently, oh, now yesterday we did touch on this, guys, yesterday's episode, we talked about 3D Max apparently coming back. Now, they will be a French roster, at least in their PUBG team. No one really sure if they will have a CSGO team, but apparently, I was sent this. Yes, they did reply with this when it came to being questioned about a CSGO team, so be patient. It does seem they're going to be coming back to CSGO. I still highly doubt it will be a higher tier French team or anything that's going to be costing them um, a, lo a lump sum financially, but yes, 3D Max will apparently be coming back to CSGO. Will it be a French roster? Will it be a Finnish roster? No one knows clearly right now, but they should be coming back sometime soon. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We have been making episodes like crazy this week, and I want to thank you all so much. Kind of some inside information that I'm not going to be sharing publicly for a little bit is uh, I actually have, uh, I can't, it's, it's tough to say this. I actually have received an offer for a job. Uh, in the esports industry. Now, I'm likely going to turn it down, but I just wanted to keep you guys posted about it because I've been I've been applying to so many jobs out there, community managers, um, personal relationships, uh, sponsorship management, social media manager. So for all of you guys who do care, I've been doing interviews like crazy. It's been so fun. I really do enjoy doing interviews. It's because, you know, you make a connection no matter what. So I've been enjoying meeting these people. So for all of you guys who are curious, I'm taking my time with this. I, I want to find the exact role that I want to find. Um, and there's just so many, there's so many options in the esports industry. Unfortunately enough, there's all there's all already so many applicants as well that are a lot older than me, a lot more experienced than me, and there's not too many college graduates right now, 22 years of old, 32 years old, that are actually applying to these jobs because, uh, of course, these companies are looking for people a bit older. So keeping you guys posted in the future about esports, I am excited. I am so nerved but so excited because I likely will be moving away from my home but I'm excited for the future. So keeping you all posted about that. Anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed. I will see you all hopefully tomorrow. Keep your fingers crossed with another episode of CSGO News. And I'm out of town as well this weekend. So I'll probably see you guys Monday again with a weekend recap. So thank you all for watching. As always, my name is Jake Mar like you. Hey guys, I made a mistake in the video and I, I, I'm already editing the video. Uh, by the way, the expected player to join Team Sprout is Sacrone, not Syncrone. He's actually an ex-North Academy member. Sorry, but he should be joining Sprout later today. Alright, I love you. No, I don't.